Hi, I'm Dr. Joyitri Mujumdar, Associate Consultant, RN Tagore Institute of Cardiac Sciences and attached to the Pediatric Cardiology Department. Today I'm going to discuss about the cyanetic newborns, when the pediatrician should refer the kids and whether the parents should panic or not. Now, see, there are two scenarios. Number one, there is a biventricular physiology, that is, the baby has a normal four chambers like me and you. But there is a large connection between the two ventricles and associated with that the pulmonary artery which is supplied to the lungs for oxygenation that is very much stenosed. So the baby is blue from the very beginning. Now this is I am discussing about the severe tetralogy of fallow nearly pulmonary atresia where the lungs artery going to the lungs is totally atretic or cut off from the heart. In that scenario if the pediatrician refers the baby to us, we do a ductal stenting within one month of age. What is that? So, in the mother's womb, the baby is actually alive due to the extra connection that is called a duct or the PDA. So, after birth, these blue babies are surviving due to that PDA only. That is the only supply to the lungs and the pulmonary arteries from the arch. If we stent that duct with a stent, coronary stent, which, use, which is usually used in adults. So that coronary stenting, this is called ductal stenting, is life saving for the kid. And in the next six months, the patient can undergo biventricular repair, which is totally curative for the patient. Now you can tell that there may be some um, adverse effects, like the baby may require regu regular follow up, and also the surgeon, some surgeon prefer RV to a conduit with valve, without valve. There are some adverse effects of pulmonary regurgitation, which may be uh, actually uh, uh, taken care of later on when the baby grows up. Then may the patient may need pulmonary valve replacement, whether transcutaneous or surgical. But there is another issue for a ba for a mother, for a patient, for a parents. One single baby is hundred percent, right? So we say that there is 10% mortality, there is 25% mortality, 10 to 15% high risk. But just think, for a parent, the baby is 100%. So if the baby survives in the newborn period and can go through six months to one year of life, then the baby can actually have a normal, near normal uh, life up to 40 years. So this is an immense uh, change for the parents. So this is very important. Number two, I will discuss about some kids who have more complex anatomy, like single ventricle physiology. The heart is la have a large hole and the ventricles cannot actually be repaired like a normal. So it it is actually uh, suitable for palliative surgery, like stage surgery. So if the baby is referred at earlier age, in neonat neonatal age, so we can uh, go in the same way like ductal stenting in the stage 1, then the, the next stage will be done by the surgeon that is glen operation at 6 months and then after regular follow up the baby will undergo fontan surgery that is also a palliative one at the age of 4 to 5 years. But see these patients also as, as per literature says can undergo or can lead a life near normal up to 40 years, 50 years because beyond that literature has no data. Because fontan surgery has been invented only before 40 to 50 years only. So, this type of cyanotic kids, blue babies, can be managed by pediatric cardiologists in hand in hand going with the surgeons. So, it is my request to the pediatricians to refer the kids in appropriate time and also the parents don't to panic and with a raise of hope, please come to us.